My name is Jens Tumler. I am a member of the technical support team for control cabinet manufacturing at the systems engineering plant Chemnitz. I am a technical expert and head of the working group for electrical equipment of machines at the DEK. This working group is concerned with standard IEC 60204-1 and the German edition of the DINEN. National and international standards describe the state of the art. They look at technical and technological changes and innovations on the market and incorporate them as new requirements and trend descriptions. As the head of the working group, it is my job to coordinate these requirements in Germany and further develop them jointly with the other experts. We then incorporate them internationally as German comments and suggestions in IEC 60204-1. Since the end of 2016, a new version of 6204-1 has been available as an IEC edition. This area of application of this standard more or less affects all machine and plant manufacturers worldwide. The main users of the standard are the electrical design engineers in machine and plant manufacturing companies. The main protection objectives deal with electrical safety, personal safety and the safe functioning of electrical systems of machines. Our revision of this standard entailed discussing and evaluating more than 3,000 comments. But don't worry, we are using this opportunity to explain the most important changes. Let us start with the applications for power drive systems. Here a fault loop measurement has been newly incorporated into the standard, which automatically switches off to provide protection. It precisely describes the tests and measurements that the user must perform in order to implement this protection in practice. Important requirements for electromagnetic compatibility have been rewritten. A new appendix describes additional practical supporting measures for the user. A definition of the short circuit rating of the electrical equipment has been incorporated in the standard. The user is offered several methods to derive it by calculation, design rules or testing. In addition, four standards have been added which the user can use to derive this value. The requirements for functional equipotential bonding and protective equipotential bonding in the standard have also been completely revised and practical examples and sketches included to provide greater clarity for the user. Several changes have been made to the control circuits which are described in Chapter 9. These include the emergency stop and emergency off functionality and its power supply and detailed illustrations of control circuits and how to avoid malfunctions. The symbol for machine start now looks like this. Additions regarding actuators and control devices are provided in Chapter 10. This especially concerns parts that are used for the machine functions start and stop. The requirements for documentation have been completely restructured in the new standard. Chapter 17 provides a brief and clear description of requirements and, in an additional appendix, a very good overview of the standards to be used for each type of documentation, together with details of the content. In my opinion, this table provides a very good basis for the customer and user to coordinate the necessary documentation for the plant or system in question. Currently, implementation of the European version of the International Edition is being prepared, with additional listing in the Low Voltage and Machinery Directive. Publication is expected in autumn 2017. The German standard will then be published as DIN-EN at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018.